Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of my EU4 Milanus Italy campaign. So I did some building stuff, got a couple buildings, some roads. I, uh, I'm going to move my capital from Lombardia all the way to Liguria. Which should help me with... Let's see, this is challenging. So that's four days times the province size, and that's four days times the province size, so that's eight days right there. Plus whatever, how big the province size is, they don't tell you, but I assume these are decently sized provinces. So probably ten, maybe twelve days it'll cut by moving it to Liguria. That should help with these overseas provinces. That would take 200 and 232 admin, so I'm not going to do it right now, I'm going to do it in the future. Yeah, other than that, I'm getting claims on these three provinces. Territories. This one, this one, this one. So I'll conquer that when I get those claims. Then I'll go back to Naples in three years. There's another round of Sunni fanatics coming up. I should be, once I get that 3%, I should be in a spot to start converting some of these territories. Hopefully Jerusalem solving their problems. Guess I could subsidize them. Point five ducats. Give him some money. Should get a claim on Sitten. couple months. What's my education doing? Should be above 40. It's just, yeah, it's bouncing back and forth. So I'll give them I'll throw 10 ducats in the pot. Hopefully that keeps those events from popping up. Start a spy network on Hungary, even though that's f far off. Let's see. Uh, plague appears in Umbria. What is it? Please be. Alright, it's moderate. Moderate plague. Uh, 
Uh, Umbria isn't that rich or important, so... I'm gonna kill anyone that leaves the province. Apparently that was four, so that's not bad at all. These peasants are devastating. Mamluk territory. <laughs> yeah, their autonomy is still really bad. It's just, I think it's gotten worse. Essentially, they control this area right here, because everywhere else, they just ignore them. I assume if the, Mam if the Ottomans fight them again, it's not going to be a victory for the Mamluks like last time. There's no way. Alright, the plague appeared in my capital. It's moderate. I'm gonna do just the normal quarantine. Killed uh, 11 people. That's not horrible. That might not recover as quickly because I think it was overpopulated in the first place. No, urban saturation is now 75%. So that should recover rather quickly. Sixty-eight hundred a year. So decently. They killed they only killed six urban pops, so. Don't build soldiers. Don't do that. Christian pilgrims. They did that event thing. So the autonomy is going down in their capital, but I assume it's, it's still 100% everywhere else. Alright, the same thing as last time. I'll let them take that. And then... Jump here. Expulsion of heretics is removed. El Sebas gets religious massacre. The uh, heretic stronghold. Hmm, that stuff didn't happen before. We must seize all rebel strongholds. Hmm. It's different. I can get this claim. Plague has killed 5% of pop. Yeah, I decreased uh, 70 or so pops. Oh, 
Hopefully I don't get too many of those events. I like my manpower. Oh wow, that is uh... I do not want to fight a religious war. That would be very bad. Very unnecessary. All right, Heretic Bastion Falls. Major enemy, stronghold has fallen to our forces. With this victory, our bloody war of religion is one step closer to a Catholic victory. I didn't know I was in a bloody war of religion. And it's over. Let's see, this peace deal ends 1505, so I got seven years. My aggressive expansion's gone down 14 in a couple of years, so... Hopefully once I get this, then I can start focusing on these provinces and they... don't care. I build that fort. Please let me build a fort. I just want to build a fort. I want to build a fort somewhere. One of those provinces. Alright, there's more there's more rebels. Even though they're not being expelled anymore. They just love popping up in this province. Religious unrest and tolerance. Should be a while though, so... Bring my army back to the Italian mainland. They haven't been here for a long time. Naples' ruler is 53. I could try to get a royal, uh, a personal union with them, but it's probably better if I just conquered them. I 
I think I'd rather just conquer them. So I'm not going to. I could probably conquer them in two wars. Integrating them would take probably a hundred years. Alright, now this conversion is apparently 38 months. Now that is, um, very tempting. What is Temple co Temple Complex? I'll do that, it'll take, what, three years? You know what? I was gonna conquer Sitten. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone, though. I was thinking I'd put a fort here, but I think it's unnecessary because anybody that comes in here is gonna have to come here, and anybody that comes down here is stopped by Lombardia. And these provinces aren't exactly giving me much. This province is duck it. So I'll probably just leave them alone. They can live. They can survive. Definitely conquering these guys, though. As soon as I can. This is 318, so that's 636. So I could take both. I'm gonna do that. There we go. This will take two years. Actually, it should be a year and a half, something like that. Then I can start converting land. A jazz was released from the Mamluks. Either they were released or they got, somehow they got released. Somehow they became an independent nation. Our ruler is now skeptical. Which gives negative missionary strength. That's not what I wanted. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Adds a couple of months. Well, Alexandria is definitely by far the most important to convert since they have 2.7%. 43 pops, if I can convert these guys, should reduce a massive section of the rebels 
Lost my claim on Barca. Jerusalem has a peasants' war. I should watch that. Uh, there's an Inquisition in Kirwan. I'll take it. Hey, they're not Catholic. Add another province to Catholicism. Slowly, but surely, they're being converted. The Empire is under siege and the Emperor asks ah, the Emperor asks us to supply our contingent to the army of the Holy Roman Empire. Defense of the Empire. They're fighting Denmark, Norway, Oldenburg, Teutonic Order, Livonian Order, Dorpat, Oselwick, Riga, and Pilton. So Denmark and the Teutonic Order. Teutonic Order seems to have ate their vassals, so that's nice for them. They only had two. They also partitioned Poland, which does not exist anymore. It's the Danish reconquest of Sudschleswig. Pretty sure this is Danish province anyway. So I don't care if they take that. Send the Emperor 10% of our maximum manpower and 2.5% of our yearly income to defend the Empire. This means losing manpower and ducats. Find an excuse, this war is not in our or the Emperor's interests. Um. Ten percent of our yearly income? It'd be great if they told me. Is that. That's. As this. Is that a one time or uh, fine? I'll send troops and supplies because I don't I don't know if this is every year. I don't think it's every year because if I lose ten thousand manpower every year, I'm gonna be mad. But I don't want to lose ten percent of my yearly income every year. Speaking of which, I make. 10 less ducats than I was before. Maybe it's 10% of what you gain? I have no idea. How's that plane coming? It's mild. Mild or moderate? Okay. Dodged a bullet there. I lost, uh, 
I've actually gained 15 pop, 11 pops since the last modifier, so that's good. All right. Piety fund. So for 10 admin power and 5 legitimacy, I get piety fund for, I get negative 0.5 unrest for 33 years. I'll take that, sure. I like unrest. Negative unrest. Not positive unrest. Negative unrest. So I still have this religious civil war. It's just progressing zero each month. Can be stopped from being in disaster or having the modifier Edict of Tolerance. Gotta keep my eye on that. Probably not gonna give any more territory to rebels. to duck it. I gotta stop uh, at least for a while let this let the loyalty recover on my estates because I'm I'm hitting them up every other year pretty much and they're not liking that for now though I'm going to finish this part here and pick it up in the next part. I think the next war I fight will probably be against Naples. Since these cores are coming, these claims are coming really slow. So I'll probably fight Naples in a year or so. I hope you join me for that. And for now, I hope you have a great day. And I want to say goodbye.